All right, guys, um, we're going to get started. That's everyone, I think, that's going to join currently. Um, so firstly, I want to say a big thank you for joining us this morning. Hope you're all safe and well and very much looking forward to cruising again when it's safe to do so. I know we all are. Um, my name's Catherine. I'm one of the connoisseurs here at Panache Cruises. So today we are excited to be speaking to you about Silver Sea Cruises. Um, we're going to be joined by Sarah from Silver Sea. She's a regional sales manager. But during the presentation, you'll get an insight into life on board, find out about the new itineraries, current promotions, and of course, we will have an exclusive event offer to use towards your next booking. Before I hand you over to Sarah, I just wanted to introduce ourselves, for those of you who don't know much about Panache Cruises, that we specialise in elite ocean, river, expedition and yacht style cruising. Although we are a fairly new company, we do come with a wealth of knowledge and experience. So our founder, James Cole, some of you might know and recognize, he is a real cruise industry veteran and he's a founder of some very successful cruise brands. Um, he wanted to launch Panache Cruises to be able to refocus on the customer experience. He's brought together a great team of cruise experts. You are in really good hands with us. Um, we've all previously worked with James, myself, for just over 10 years now. Um, the ethos here at Panache is that nothing is too much trouble. So we will take care of all the finer details for you. We don't have an admin team um, or call options. You simply dial and get through to us. So you'll deal with one connoisseur throughout who will be your point of contact from beginning to end. So we'll handle your booking. We'll send your invoices and tickets, deal with any special requests you may have, whether that's adding in dining reservations, booking shore excursions or flight seats whatever it is that is really important to you and will give you that fantastic holiday experience, we will work with you on a one-to-one -one basis to make sure we have everything covered so you can really enjoy your trip. We also currently, as you know, we have the book with confidence messages. So low deposits, reduced prices, relaxed payment terms. It is a really great time to be booking and taking advantage of all the offers out there, especially now with the vaccine being rolled out things are really starting to look up, which is great news. Also, to any customers who are worried about securing a holiday currently, at Panache, we do operate an atoll approved customer trust account, which gives you as a customer 100% financial protection. So your money is completely safe with us. Um, so what I'll do, we'll get started now with the presentation. If you have any questions as we go through, Feel free to use a chat function at the bottom of the screen. We'll cover any questions at the end. So I'll hand you over to Sarah, who will take you through everything now. And then I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Catherine. Um, thank you, everybody, um, for joining us today. Um, just to introduce myself, I'm, I'm Sarah Maxfield. I'm one of the regional sales managers for Silver Sea. Um, so just to get started really more about the heritage of Silver Sea. So we were um, a, a business um, that was, um, that was um, introduced by the Lefebvre family of Rome and um, this, one of the sons of that family, Manfredo, was head, heavily involved with Silver Sea Cruises um, and became the chairman of, of Silver Sea Cruises. And um, more recently, um, we've actually um, now joined the Royal Caribbean Group, so they 100% own um, Silver Sea, which is fantastic um, news um, for us as a business. In terms of what sets us apart, what makes us different from um, other cruise lines? One of the things um, is the ship size. Um, you'll notice as we go through the presentation, it is all about small ship cruising, but very much about the space that we offer whilst on board. So for us, we have no more than 608 guests on board. We travel to over 900 destinations at the moment. And we're very proud of our guest to staff ratio, which on average is one to three guests, but ours is just over one to one. So as you can tell, it's that real personal service that we can offer from that. In terms of square footage of your, your suite, um, this is something that we pride ourselves. And on average, they are around 376 um, square footage. It does depend on which suite you have. And obviously some are slightly lower than that, and, but some are significantly higher. In terms of destinations, this is a great way to see where we travel to. So as you can see, you know, the, the coverage is very fast. 
Um, from the red dots here, those are our expedition voyages um, and the white dots are our classic um, voyages. So the likes of MED, um, the Caribbean, that, that type of product, our expedition product, it's very vast. Again, it covers the Galapagos, um, Antarctica, the Arctic, but also some really unique products such as the Easter Island um, and also Papua New Guinea as well. So we really are the destination um, leaders we feel in, in our field and you know we're always seeking new destinations to travel to and you know and, and it's so important just to offer the variety to our guests and what you'll find is we don't do back-to-back -back identical identical voyages and um, you know in a particular destination say we're in, we're in the Caribbean we wouldn't always do Barbados to Barbados we'd mix that up with different destinations I'm just going to try and show you this video here, which really kind of showcases what we are about in terms of destinations. It's when all your senses become aware. You are present. And focus. That's traveling to me. It's an urgent need to go and observe this world that we all share. A ray of light. A pair of eyes that tell a story. An instant of perfection. Images printing on your soul. This is authentic beauty. It's all out there, trust me. There's always room for discovery. So that video was um, produced by a gentleman called Steve McCurry. And Steve, see, if you Google Steve, um, he's a, a famous photographer. And he, he does a lot of our um, imagery in terms of our brochures and some beautiful, beautiful videos as well. Um, in terms of um, the fleet, so at the moment we have nine in our fleet and um, the range of size is, is amazing really because there really is something there for everybody within the fleet. So just starting at the biggest um, vessel that we have is Silver Spirit. So Silver Spirit has 608 guests. Then moving down the size of Silver Muse, 596 guests. So the Silver Muse um, was um, built in 2017 and um, we also have new ships joining that particular class of ship because it just is just the perfect size ship to have such a variety uh, of, of entertainment and also dining options as well and um, so moving down a size there we've got the silver whisper at 388 guests now the silver whisper tends to do our world cruise each year then she has um, an identical sister the silver shadow um, 388 guests so she has spent quite a lot of time in the med recently and also um, in terms of um, you know moving forward she will actually be um, traveling to um, the, the Alaska season to be honest. Can I just ask whilst, I'm, whilst of interest how many of, a, of you here um, have traveled with Silver Sea um, before if you could just pop your comments in the in the chat that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you'd be very familiar with some of these ships. Obviously, then if we've got some um, some guests who um, who have joined us previously, and um, you know, and what 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 our guests love is obviously revisiting these ships. You know, and the, and the crew that and they remain firm friends with a lot of our crew as well, which is lovely. And um, just moving down the size of the ship into the Silver Wind. So 296 guests um, on board the Wind. And the Wind is, is, is a, an amazing ship because she can actually navigate um, Tower Bridge in London. So I've been there and watched um, the ship um, arrive and also depart and it uh, is absolutely fantastic and um, you know the bridge lifts and um, they play Royal Britannia. It's, 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 it's absolutely fantastic experience doing that. Um, Silver Cloud also can navigate um, to, to Tower Bridge as well. But Silver Cloud a few years ago um, was a, a traditional um, style ship, um, but she had um, a renovation to, to take her to an expedition ship, um, taking her to 254 guests. She, she does our Arctic season, our, our Antarctic season, 
um, along with Silver Explorer. So just moving to the right of the screen there, at 144 guests. So she is um, a smaller ship uh, and a more traditionally expedition ship, I would say. The cloud, has, because of the size, has got more facilities on board. So it just depends on, on what you, you're looking for. Then moving along the Silver Origin. Um, so Silver Origin joined us um, last year in the summer. She is absolutely beautiful. She is a ship um, that we designed for the Galapagos. So she's year round in the Galapagos. Um, no more than 100 guests on board. Um, and um, you know, hopefully we'll be um, sailing her soon. Um, also last year in October, we actually um, received delivery of Silver Moon. Um, so, you know, in terms of the fleet, we, are, we have increased, um, you know, twofold, um, sorry, two, two ships um, last year. Um, and then this year, um, we, we are joined by the Silver Dawn. So Silver Dawn was due to be ready in September, um, obviously with the, with the recent pandemic that we're in. Um, she is now looking at November delivery, um, but we, we're really excited to welcome the, the Silver Dawn. So the Moon and the Dawn are the, the sister ships to Silver Muse, so identical at 596 guests. And then moving forwards, um, we have plans in place to build um, additions to the fleet um, in 2020, 2022 and in 2023, it's the Silver Evolution class of ship. Um, so you should start to see some more information on this um, these ships soon. Um, so just to move on to the, the, the what you what you can expect from Silver Sea from those of you who haven't travelled with us before. I've mentioned before about the ships, the, you know, the, the intimate, it's, it's all about the space that you have on board and, and you never have a moment um, where you've got, you know, a lot of people coming towards you in a, in a corridor. You know, you never have an issue um, with, with obtaining a sun lounge. You know, it's those things that really make a difference and particularly, in, in, you know, where we are obviously now. Um, the, suit, the suites themselves are, are very spacious in addition to that and, and the majority do have private verandas. On board, um, gratuities are included and Wi-Fi and each suite does get um, the get but the service. So this isn't limited to what um, category of suite that you that you take with Silver Sea. Every single category of suite gets the butler service. Um, and they are really there to enhance the experience um, of our guests. So when you arrive, they'll ask you um, what you'd like in your mini bar, they'll offer to unpack for you, they'll make dinner reservations, but also if you decided to have breakfast in suite, they will deliver that to you as well. Um, Wine and spirits are included and champagne throughout the, sh throughout the ship. Um, I mentioned before about the, the in-suite bar, which the, the, the butler will ask what your preferences are for that. And then we have got such a lovely range of um, restaurants on board as well. We've got some speciality restaurants, but one really important thing is the open seating policy. What's really nice as well in, the, in, the, in kind of recent years is that the range of restaurants that we have means that there's, there's, there's restaurants that are open till 11 o'clock um, and then restaurants that are open um, until um, kind of like half nine, that's kind of the last seating. So Quite kind of different types of restaurants which I will touch on in a short moment. I just wanted to really just mention about the expedition um, product. So um, we, we have got a great fantastic um, highly um, qualified expedition team and the, you'll have so many um, you know fountains of knowledge on, on these voyages and places where you can go to speak to people about particular subjects like photography. We have marine biologists on board, just depends on where we are in the world. A lot of our time is spent on um, zodiacs in some destinations and all shore excursions are included with expedition. Now one important thing about shore excursions is that from summer 2022 and onwards we, we will include shore excursions for all of our product um, as, as standard and um, so I'll showcase some offers to you um, a little bit later so you can see that. Um, but it's one, one excursion per port of call and um, so with also expedition, you get the complimentary expedition parker when you are um, in Arctic, Antarctica regions, polar regions. Um, the, the, the bright red, so we can't lose you, but they're very, very warm as well. And um, just mentioned about the, the cuisine, it's, it's a real, um, you know, um, plus point for us. And it, it's obviously just in, in reflection of our Italian heritage as well. And you'll notice that as we go through um, in terms of, you know, some of the restaurants, you'll, you'll see that theme. So this is just a selection of the restaurants that are on board all of our ships. It just depends on which ship you are traveling on. And so I would recommend that if you want to try, you know, if you want a ship with, 
you know, more restaurant, more restaurant hosts to speak to the, the team at Panache so that they can guide you in terms of that, um, in terms of which is the best ship for you. What we've also developed with um, the Silver Moon is something called SALT. So this stands for Sea and Land Taste. So what we do in this concept is, and like I said, we are launching it when we launched Moon, that was the, the, the original plan, um, is to take our guests on board to experience you know, a local market, to, to obviously go and collect produce, bring it back on board. And then we have the SALT Lab where you can experiment and watch demonstrations. And then in addition to that, we really want to give guests the feel for the area of where, the, where they are. So we have a SALT bar where we may make cocktails for the destination that we're in. Um, and also um, the restaurant as well that we have um, is, is all reflective of where we are. So the food will, will very much be in, in line with the destination we're in at that point. I just really wanted to now just take you on a kind of a walkthrough of the ship as best as I can, um, just to give you a feel of what you can expect in terms of the look and feel. So these pictures that I'm using are on the Silver Spirit. And um, so... Um, just to start, really, this is at Lantide. So this is um, a lovely restaurant, it's a la carte menu, and um, just beautiful food. It's really a fantastic venue for our former evenings as well, very, very popular. This is La Terrazza. So La Terrazza is our Italian restaurant um, in the evening. And then in the day, um, so for breakfast and for lunch, we have a buffet service. Um, so the buffet service you can eat inside um, at the tables that you've just seen, or, which is my favourite, if the weather's permitting, outside on, on, the, on the deck as well. Um, it's, just, it's just so lovely, you know, the taking in the views and it's, yeah, just fantastic. And then in terms of our fresco dining, we've also got the option of something called um, hot rocks. So in the daytime, this area is obviously the swimming pool, but also the grill area. So in the daytime, you can get burgers, sandwiches, that kind of thing. In the, in the evening, this turns into hot rocks. So you get a hot lava stone and you can cook your own meat, fish, um, and it's all done under the stars. If you get cold, they'll bring you a blanket. Um, it's just a really, really lovely experience and one I definitely recommend. If it gets a little bit chilly, you probably notice to the kind of top of the screen there's kind of seating there on the, the edge of the ship. And there's actually um, sliding doors, which we can slide obviously to to protect you as well. So it is a venue which can be used um, in, in a range of uh, weather elements. Um, in terms of um, new um, additions to, to the fleet, in terms of offerings, this has been a really popular one. So this is called the Arts Cafe. So this is available on the Silver Spirit, the Silver Muse, and more recently, the Silver Shadow. And we're finding this is a really popular venue because people can come here from first thing in the morning, they can grab a, a light breakfast, they can also get a coffee, um, a light lunch. There's also a deck area outside where they can just take in the surroundings. But also we have a bar there as well and it is open till late so it, it's a, it's a very much a social hub throughout the day so a really really um you know positive addition to to our offering now on board in terms of what you, what is also available we have obviously the boutique shops we have a fantastic pool area and um, it is you know a really our, our pool areas are really sizable and you know we, we i think we'd compare with some bigger cruise lines on this particular one, Silver Spirit, she's got three jacuzzis there. She's also got an upper deck as well for plenty of space for sun loungers. Like I said before, it's very much, it's always been at the forefront of our minds um, and very much more so now, obviously, in the times we're in. We have a casino on some of our ships as well. And um, that's mainly for classic um, destinations opposed to um, our, our expedition voyages. Um, just, you know, obviously just a great, again, social hub. We have our um, theatre, so this remains a focus for, for our guests in the evening. And, you know, in terms of what we offer varies. So some nights we may um, offer a tribute band kind of um, theme, so it may be Motown, it could be ABBA, something like that. Sometimes we have a musician. Sometimes, particularly so on our expedition voyages, we'll play a film because, you know, you've had a busy day, you know, and you need to unwind. So it just depends on, um, you know, what's been happening that day. Um, one year we even brought Andrea Bicelli on board to do a performance, which was very special. Now I can't guarantee that, obviously, but you know, just just to kind of really highlight what we what we will try and do for our guests to make it really special for you. And then after after that, what tends to happen is that we will head up to Panorama Lounge um, for for drinks, and the bars are really open till till when people leave um, to go to bed. 
This, uh, this is an outside area um, of the Panorama Lounge. And again, weather permitting, you know, especially if we're overnight in a pool, a great place to come and sit and just to take in, in the scenery. As you can see from the next couple of pictures, we've got plenty of spaces where you can just take yourself away. Again, it's all that element of space. This is a lovely um, concept. So it's the observation lounge, it's at the front of the ship. Um, and this is a place where you can go to obviously see where we're traveling to, you know, especially if weather's not that great. I was in the fjords a couple of years ago when we were heading into the most beautiful place and we all kind of piled into the observation lounge because the weather was that adverse. Um, it was a, but it's a great place. You can see obviously what's happening. You can grab a coffee, but also as well, when we're in port, people use this place as a, as a, as a, as a, a relaxing, quiet place to, to go and read a book or something. This is part of our spa um, on Silver Spirit, so a lovely jacuzzi area there. And obviously you've got the sauna, you've got treatment rooms as well. I just want to touch quickly on the um, on the suites um, on board. There's obviously this is not limited. There's so many different types of suites, and it, again, it does depend on what ship you're on. But just to kind of give you an overview of the different kind of levels we've got. So just starting with the Vista suite. This is our leading um, category of suite. So a beautiful suite. As you can see, you've got obviously the bed area there. You've got a separate um, lounge area. Um, you've got a good size window there. Um, you have a walk-in wardrobe and a beautiful bathroom. One level up is the veranda suite. So exactly the same in terms of pretty much square footage. However, you've obviously got the veranda um, as an additional um, space there. And I really would recommend um, that um, if you are able to, because it, particularly in some destinations, it really adds to the experience of being able to sit out on your, on your, on your veranda and taking your surroundings it is, it is fantastic. Um, in terms of the veranda suites, we have three different types. Um, so we have classic veranda, superior veranda, and also a deluxe veranda as well. Though those, those suites are, are identical, it just depends on where they are in, on, in the ship. So obviously the deluxe veranda is in a preferable position and in the middle of the ship, so obviously you, you feel less movement. So just something to consider there. And these are the bathrooms um, on the veranda of Vista Suites. Um, it does depend what ship that you're in. Sometimes there's different configurations. So this is just a shower, walk-in shower. But we do have um, some suites with separate shower and a separate bath. Sometimes we have showers over the bath. So, you know, if you do have a particular preference or something that you don't want, again, speak to the, the experts at Panache and they'll be able to point you in the right direction on that. Um, the Silver Suite, so this is kind of moving up a level above the Veranda Suite. Um, and I don't know if any of you saw the programme that we did with Jane MacDonald a few years ago where she went to the Chilean Fjords. This is the suite that she stayed in. So it's a Silver Suite, um, really popular uh, in the UK, and it just offers you just that extra bit of space. So as you can see there from the bottom of the picture, you have, um, you know, a good sized table. So if you're traveling with another couple, you know, you can invite them around for dinner and the butler will actually serve that to you course by course. And um, so something um, to consider there in terms of extra space. And then, you know, further up the ship, and this is the top um, suite that we have, it's the owner's suite. So I'm just going to walk you through that. Beautiful, beautiful space, lots of um, space outside. Obviously, the walk-in wardrobes and a beautiful bath, main bathroom there. Then just to finally, really, I just wanted to touch on some offers that we have um, for um, Panache at the moment. So just to really start with the Mediterranean. So this particular voyage is Venice to Venice. It departs in um, June of next year. It's a seven day voyage on board Silver Spirit. So with this particular um, offer, we have an, an additional $250 per suite of onboard credit, which is exclusive to Panache. Now these prices that you see here, so for the Vista, for example, it's £3,240 per person. This includes our 10% early booking bonus, as do all of these prices that I'm going to quote you. So how that works for those of you who don't know, it's to, to encourage obviously bookings, um, you know, moving you know, for, for, further out. And it's something that we've had in place for a number of years at Silver Sea. And in terms of the market, it just works well for us because people can't get that level of interest from the bank. So it really makes sense for, to, for people to do that. There's only one caveat in that you have to book and pay in full by the 28th of February this year in order to receive the early booking bonus. So for this particular offer, 
um, this price that, that you see there in front of you, and you've got a selection of the sweet prices there just to give you an example, but obviously this is not exhaustive. There's, there's plenty of others we can look at that for you as well. Uh, but this particular offer includes business class air, it includes your transfers, it includes your shore excursions, and, all, and also everything else that you'd expect from Silver Sea that we've discussed today. Mm -hmm. It's really lovely cruise actually because this one goes to Dubrovnik um, and Trieste as well. So lo lovely destinations there. I've also got one for you for October just to kind of give you some, um, you know, later on in the year um, options. So again, seven days. This, this one's actually on board the new ship Silver Door. So this one is really lovely. It's going to one of my favourite places, which is Qatar. Just amazing, beautiful place. Um, really worth getting up at 5.30 in the morning to, to watch um, the, the ship um, arrive. Um, so this particular offer is that you get £200 off the normal price. So for a Vista, normally um, it's £3,060. Um, Panache price is £2,860 for a Vista. Um, again, business business class air, you've got your 10% uh, booking bonus and your shore ex are included in that as well. So you've got everything there. There's, there's, there's nothing else that you'd need to spend really apart from um, maybe if you wanted a treatment in the spa or something like that. In terms of um, Caribbean, then just to move a little bit further afield, we have this one, Fort Lauderdale uh, round trip, departing next January. This one again is on Spirit, and this is for 11 days. Um, the price normally, and at the moment you'll be able to see that, um, is, is £3,600. Um, Panache price is £3,400 per person. Now this includes a 20% early booking bonus, which we've just launched for, for this month, so a really, really good offer. Uh, this includes economy air, but there are options to upgrade that to business class if you so wish. And where obviously, with the, depends on the flights um, used, we will um, obviously put you up in a hotel, um, either pre or post, just to make, uh, make sure, obviously tie that in with the cruise as well. Um, transfers are obviously included as well. But also just to note, for any single travellers out there, um, we do have single supplements available for 25% on this particular voyage. And then South America, um, on board the Silver Dawn, um, this is for 60 days. Um, it is um, departing December of this year, 2nd of December. This is again is a saving. Um, so normal price at the moment is £5,580. Panache price is £5,380. Um, again, early booking bonuses on there, um, economy air um, with a business class upgrade available. We also have um, a saving offer on a Machu Picchu package as well, if you wanted to do that. Um, and also for any of guests who obviously have travelled with Silk, obviously you'll know that you, you are part of the Venetian Society. And for this particular voyage, you'll receive an additional 5% off as well. This, this cruise is lovely because obviously it's the Panama Canal. You know, it's, it's, it's a fantastic um, thing to do. And then this one is Black, the Black Sea. So we haven't been to the Black Sea for a number of years. Um, so really, really fantastic that we are back in the Black Sea for 2022. So this particular voyage is an Athens round trip. It's 15 days on board Spirit. So again, it's a, um, a saving um, of £200. So Vista from um, £7,810 per person. Again, business, um, early booking bonus. There are um, business class air included with this and your shore ex excursions are included in that as well. And then finally, this is, I think this is a fantastic offer. This is Hong Kong to Singapore departing in February um, 2023. And this is um, for um, Vista, so £4,410. So that is 10 days. It's really good value for money. And you, Panache have got a $300 per suite um, special offer on that um, for their guests. And Economy Air is included on that with, again, business class upgrades available. And once again, for any single travellers, um, we do have 25% single supplements um, available. Um, and that really um, ends the presentation there. Um, so just really, I guess, any questions? Oh yeah, thanks Sarah. Yeah, we, as you were going through the presentation, it was just a question on the single traveller offers, which I know you've um, obviously touched on briefly with the 25%. So I know you do have a selection, don't you, of single traveller offers? 
Yeah, we have some great offers. Um, so what we what I can send um, yourself, Catherine, is a, yeah. is a link of all that information because it, what I've just showcased there is just a, just a, a sample of what we offer. Um, we just have them on, on various cruises departing at different different points. So yeah, absolutely. They tend to be from twenty five percent. Um, and you know that's kind of what we what we see is, is, is a positive message in terms of 25 percent in the cruise industry you know for, for those of you yeah. um, single travelers you know that sometimes that can be quite high so um so yeah right, won't it? yeah well thank you and then there was just just another question regarding if customers didn't want to um pay with the 10 percent early booking bonus mm -hmm. obviously could they book it on deposit and yes we know the answer is yes of course you can yeah um, absolutely yeah you don't it's just obviously an incentive for customers to save more money if they wanted to pay in full yeah but every cruise you have the option to pay deposit yeah um some balance mirror to time yes that, that's absolutely fine um i'm not sure if any other questions come in obviously thank you sarah that was brilliant thank you um so um if anyone else has any questions please feel free to ask obviously everything we you've seen on the webinar today what we will do is pop this onto an email to everybody that has joined us, and also people that haven't been able to make it. I will reiterate the offers in the email that we will send you. Um, hopefully you've been inspired today and um, keen to start planning your next trip. Um, any questions going forward, or if you're looking for just general advice on anything, please do give us a shout. Either myself or one of the team members will be more than happy to help. Um, so I don't think there was any other questions that came up. Um, oh, it's just one more question, Sarah, just regarding shore excursions. Obviously, I know they were recently introduced for 2022 voyages. Um, I've had a customer asking, they're not included for 2021. Obviously, we know they're not, but they're just asking the reason why they're not included. Yeah, do you know what? It was a historic reason, to be honest. And, you know, it's something which we've, we've tried different destinations, which, you know, I think, um, you know, to make a clearer message, I think it's better for us to include that message. And um, now it's just historically, we've obviously got to have a cut off point of where they start and they can be purchased, which is where the onboard credit that you have, that you guys have um, exclusive with your groups can obviously benefit in terms of being able to purchase them that way. Um, so, so yeah, you know, it's it's something you know which we can obviously um, look at using that onboard spend. But yeah, that's the reason why it was just it was just historic, and um, you know, we 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 I think well since I started in two thousand and fifteen, we we didn't include the Shorex, um, and then um, yeah, it's only just literally just happened, um, just for moving forward from summer twenty twenty two. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. And it was just literally one more questions popped up. Apologies. Um, it was just regarding COVID, um, I've got a customer asking about, are we looking to reduce passenger numbers on board the ships um, due to COVID or obviously the situation going forward, things are changing constantly, aren't they? Yes, um, it's a very fluid situation, to be honest with you, Catherine, and um, obviously we're constantly moving in terms of um, things like the protocols and things like that because obviously now um, obviously we looked at the protocols and then we're in a place where vaccinations are now happening so it's a very very fluid situation and we do hope to communicate something firstly on those um, in due course what I would say though is in terms of the cruise industry it's one of the safest ways to travel you know in yeah. terms of um, you know hand sanitizers we've always used the hospital grade of hand sanitizers you know it's always something that's part of what we do you know in terms of the cleaning and everything else it, you know it, it's, it's always been a massive priority for us and um, so yeah. you know in terms of those protocols obviously there are some changes but there's some things in there which are just fundamentally done anyway and um, in terms of reducing capacity um potentially there's nothing been officially on that but what i would say is because we are um a cruise line with ships that could take more capacity so if, if you take um mm -hmm. silver spirit 608 guests you know it could probably take double though that capacity in terms of the space so actually i don't you know whether we'll be as heavily affected as, as, as yeah. others um 
And like I said, it's a fluid situation that we're in. And I think um, just depends on where we get to with these vaccinations and um, the situation's obviously moving quickly and obviously in a positive yeah. direction as well. Oh, so, yeah, you. yeah. Thank but you. we will obviously come back in terms of, you know, for firm protocols yeah. and also things like that in due course. OK, no problem. Thank you. Um, obviously, any other questions going forward? Um, again, just email me and let me know um, and we can obviously help you further. So other than that, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We love having you guys come and watch the webinars and learning all about the products we sell. And we love hearing your feedback. Um, so thank you again, Sarah, for taking the time to come and speak welcome. to us. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I do appreciate it. But thank you. And everyone have a nice day and we will be in touch. Thanks very much. Bye, everybody. Take Bye. Care.